hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and if you are brand new here welcome so today i'm going to be showing you guys my very first attempt in doing feeding braids so just keep on watching all right so i have made four sections in my hair so I'm going to be doing four parts total in the interest of time. I did two ahead of time and I'm going to show you guys how I did the rest. So like in most of my hairstyles or in all of my hairstyles, I always try to section my hair in different parts and um, clip it away either with using a clip or some scrunchie or something to the sort. So now I have detangled my hair and I'm going to add some jam to the roots of the hair, you know, just to sleek it down, to tame the frizz a bit and to control my natural hair. Um, I could have used a little bit more product or, you know, I think that one of the reasons why the product was not so um, obvious as well was because I had to attempt like several times I did a couple of takes before I finally got it down but like I said it's my very first attempt I was a bit hesitant in posting this video because um, you know it's not perfect but then I thought hmm I'm sure I'm not the only person seeing these feeding braids interested in doing it have not done it before but would love to so i am sharing this video with you guys no filter i'm showing you exactly what i did and how it turned out i'm sure there is something that we can learn from this video and i also hope that it inspires someone to attempt to do their own feeding braids as well or even motivate someone so that's my reason for sharing it with you guys so what I did um, was started off started off with a really small piece um, based on the result I think that because I'm parting it so big it's just four sections where I started off with that tiny piece it could have been a little bit bigger so that you know the beginning of the hair would somewhat even out well not really even because you want the beginning to be a little bit smaller and then gradually increases but i could have started off with a piece of hair a little bit bigger if you know what i mean so that the front of the braids would look more fuller but that's just my opinion you guys can let me know what you think now also throughout the braid i was just adding the jam to my hair that was sticking out throughout the braids right there i didn't do this all the way through to the very end now if you have natural hair like i do you need to do it all the way through to the very end if you don't when you get to the braiding out the end of your braids you're going to notice that your natural hair will be sticking out if you don't um, add the jam all the way through i didn't add it all the way through so that's one thing that you can take away from that if you're going to recreate this style so just add the jam all the way through to ensure that ensure that the end of your own natural hair would be blended into the braid seamless and smooth all right now once i get to the end i just shave it a bit if you notice i didn't just make a blonde cut right across i kind of just shave it the scissors is very sharp so it gives it that um shave you know like layered ends instead of one blunt cut all right now the reason why i do that that's also going to help um once i'm finished I'm, i will be dipping the ends in hot water so it does two things um one once the hot water is um once the hair goes into the hot water, it's going to get straight and um, by having layered ends, it allows you, your ends to stay instead of unraveling. And also it gives it a more layered look once you're done, instead it gives it a more natural look versus just a blunt cut. Alright, so again I started off using um, my own hair and then I gradually added the feeding braid, the braids to the 
um, to my own hair I don't know how to explain it you just have to watch and see how I get it done all right um, in the in the meantime if you have been watching my video thus far please subscribe down below if you have not subscribed as yet remember to share this video with a friend remember to leave your comment down below your opinions and your thoughts really matter and remember to give this video a big thumbs up as well all right so once i'm done with all my braids i am just going to trim any ends that are sticking out and then i'm also going to maintain the frizz a little bit by using um, a mousse to the onto the hair this controls the frizz as well as it adds some needed sheen to the hair as well so that it has that you know nice salon fresh hair and i also oil my scalp as well this is a um jamaican black castor oil you can use any liquid oil of your choice as well all right so once i added the mousse throughout the hair i will be doing my edges now another thing um that i must point out the edges that i'll be doing in this video are not the edges that you're going to see once the video is completed the reason for that is all right so i had tied the the um the edges down with some hair ties some wraps and somewhere between waiting on the edges to dry and completing my makeup the wraps got um shifted or something before the edges were dried and when i removed the wraps everything was all in one all of what i am doing right now is just like a waste of time nothing was there it was all gone so i had to redo it so i just did a normal normal little swoop to the edges once i realized what had happened and then give it a few more minutes to dry so this is what it actually looks like because i had to redo the edges but yeah overall i think it was a very good attempt you guys can let me know if you beg to differ and um you can let me know if you're going to be recreating this style or if you have something else in mind that you want to suggest i'm open for suggestions i'm willing to try whatever so let me know what you guys think down below i thank you guys so much for watching my video remember to subscribe to my channel before you leave remember to give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you in the next video bye guys